How's it going? In this video, I'll be talking and showing the tools and the process involved in the Kijime. A round fish and a flat fish. What the fish will be, who will know? Mackerel, cod, pollock, coalfish, who knows? The flat fish is a flounder. It'd be best if I just do it with the most common fish of all which is be a mackerel and a flounder so because that's what a lot of people catch but the process is the same regardless whether the fish is 50 pounds or 50 grams it doesn't matter it's the same for flatfish and roundfish so let's go yeah I'm going to show you the tools you will need to do this and it varies from fish to fish the tools are the same but obviously a bigger fish you're going to need bigger stuff so that's the way it goes first of all you're going to need a knife then you're going to need the Ikejime wire I'll talk about that in some and then you need the spike for piercing the brain and removing the brain matter out of the way I got two different sizes this is because a small fish can be done with this like a mackerel or a flounder or a place or whatever when the fish get bigger the skulls get a lot tougher and you'll need something bigger. The other one will pass through the skull easier. It won't move enough brain matter and it won't make a big enough hole for you to find the spinal channel. So you're gonna need this. Also, it needs to be fairly robust with some of these fish. They have very tough skulls. Not from the side, but from, from the top of the head. Very tough skull, very thick skull. So you'll need something quite strong and sharp. This is amazingly sharp. I sharpened these on diamond stones just to make sure this is as sharp as a chemically sharpened hook because if you have to push too hard and it's wet it's raining whatever you make a mistake you could have a very serious accident with one of these trust me I know it nearly happened to me it wasn't sharp enough to pass through the skull of the fish unless I pushed extremely hard and then it went straight through the fish and nearly uh, my hand slipped and I nearly went through my hand as well but it didn't so it was all right so I have two different sizes actually I have three but the in-between one is really unnecessary but this one if you're going to be doing big fish like coalfish and cod and pollock and any big fish you're going to need something like that it doesn't have to be this long but it needs to be that wide and it needs to be this sharp these this is a leather making tool you buy them on the internet it's just a spike for making holes for leather so you can put a grommet in or something this is a piece of uh, five mil you could do it with four mil or even three mil depending high chromium stainless steel there's no iron in it at all but it's very hard because of the chromium and it's very sharp and then that's the handle of a file so i just heated up the end and pushed it in that was it that's how you make that and then just find something to stick over the end so you don't spike yourself the wire i've used many different types my first type was a tig tig rod i mean if they're not too long they work if you're just using them for mackerel or whatever they work perfectly but they do tend to kink and when you when you're dealing with smaller fish that can be a problem but they're cheap enough anyway this is a this is titanium it's used as a bite trace for wahoo also I think pike anglers also use this as well it comes in many different sizes that's the one of the great things about it is the different sizes you get it in this is 0 0.8 so it's just short of a millimeter and I think it's perfect for most fish it will do big fish it will do small fish I can do dabs with this I'm not gonna bother anything smaller than that and this bait so that for me that's as far as you need to go with it of course if you're talking like really small dabs yeah it's not gonna work that great but you can just get a smaller one then maybe 0 0.6 or something like that which is possible you can get it no problem and a knife I've been waiting a while to do this video I've been humming and hawing over it I hear a lot of people talking about oh you can't show this stuff on YouTube why not if there are people that are watching fishing programs and they don't like seeing fish being killed maybe they should watch diving programs but 
not spear fishing. That's no good. Respectfully, I have nothing against people. I don't want to see people fish being killed. But it's a fishing channel and it, we eat fish and so therefore we must kill them as well. So that's the that's reality of life. And instead of beating it over the head or leaving it in the bucket to suffocate, which is actually what is happening to them, just in an opposite perspective, I suppose, why not just do it quickly and quietly and respectfully? That's my thoughts on that anyway. So, I'm with fishing. Actually, I'm into something already. It's a mackerel, obviously. I think. Or the world's biggest herring. That's a mackerel. I'm always wrong, so... Whatever. Yeah, it's a mackerel. I'm right, for a change. Always on that end one, too. So, anyway. So we do this guy for the buzz. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to ikijime round fish and flat fish. And the process is the same for all. Uh, the flat fish video will explain. For, but for round fish, it goes here. You go to the back of the eye like that. You put your spike in. That's it, you kill the fish. And you wiggle it around without breaking the skull inside, just to get the brain out of the way. His nervous system is still working and causing damage to the flesh of the fish, so then you trim it, cut its tail, so you can pass the wire through and bleed the fish. And then you rinse it in some water to get the blood out, which I'm not going to show, because people seem to think it's a problem, I don't know why, but anyway. So now, this is the fish the way it is so then you take your wire I find the diameter of the wire um, 0 0.7 0 0.8 will do most fish from a dab upwards it's made from titanium this is the way it works now when you hit the right place the fish will twitch violently so there we go, and you'll see the wire come out the end of the fish there. That's it there. So then you put, take it back out again, and you do the process one more time, just to make sure all the nerves are out of the way. It's got a channel right there, and it's got a channel right below. This is for the blood thro flow throughout the body. This one's for the nervous system. The, one, the bottom one's for the, the blood flow, and that goes around to the heart and up to the brain and back around and back down again and if you like but it's not necessary now you've done the tail but you can do the gills as well but you have to do the tail regardless you can make sure that the wire has followed the path it should that's it now into the water ice water job's good so now it's time for the flat fish now flatfish, when they're larvae, they're a round fish and then they mutate into, the, into this form here and the eyes migrate over to one side of the head. So the brain is where it will be an all round fish, which is right there, right between the eyes there like that. When I push this in, he's gonna twitch now. There you go. Now the fish is dead. Now I have to bleed the fish and sever the spinal cord. So right now he's still, his mouth's still moving, his gills are still moving, his heart's still pumping and everything else because fish have an autonomic nervous system and they will continue to do this after they've died so you have to stop them from doing this. You cut the tail and you get your wire the wire only needs to be as long as the fish itself so so you take it insert it in the hole now the fish is going to twitch wildly when i do this
I'm not monetized so I can get away with this. <laughs> and there's the wires pass through the tail itself. Then to finish it, you just cut the gills. That's it. Now this fish's heart will still pump. Even though I've severed this, this nerve here, the heart will still begin to pump, will still continue to pump for a few minutes after the fish has passed and it will purge all the blood from the fish. Now I'm gonna throw this in some salt water and let it, that helps with the bleeding process. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. And wherever you are in the world, fish on. And remember, this will make your fish taste better. Bye. <laughs>